And welcome everyone to a WCC chat. I'm Andy Katz as we look ahead to the season with Santa Clara, head coach Herb Sendik, Joseph Brankich, and DJ Mitchell. Uh, I'm going to start with you, Yosef, because you're the veteran player here. Tell me your level of optimism right now for the Broncos. Yeah, I believe it's at an all-time high. You know, this is the the most confident I've been um, in a group of guys in the program since I've been here. Um, you know, our team has a lot of experience, and given that, you know, I think that we can eliminate all excuses. I feel like we only have one freshman, so um, the confidence for me is at an all-time high. You know, I expect a lot from everyone, you know, from the culture staff to the players, from myself, everyone. And I think that, you know, this is the year, there's no other option. So this is the year where we put all on the line. So Herb, um, you've been building championship type teams or teams that compete at a high level for quite some time. Um, why do you feel like this team is ready to make that step? Because you've seen it, obviously, at your various stops at NC State, ASU, even going back as an assistant. I just think it's a function of Joseph and DJ and the rest of our players. You know, those guys give a coach confidence. You know, a lot of times we talk about a coach being responsible for instilling confidence in players. And, you know, there, there is some truth to that. Obviously, that's, that's part of the equation. These guys, they give their teammates and they give the coaches confidence, you know? And, and so I'm, I'm simply the beneficiary of, of being surrounded by terrific players and terrific people and outstanding coaching staff. That's why I feel good about going into the season. All right, Yosef and DJ, let's start with you, Yosef. Um, what has been added this season or tweaked that you feel is a difference as opposed to the last year or two? Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing, I kind of mentioned it before, um, I think it's just the experience that we have. Um, you know, we only have one freshman coming in, so I feel like as a college basketball program in this situation, that's huge for us. You know, we've been apart for so long. Um, we weren't able to get in as many reps in in the summer and, you know, during um, during a short turnaround for preseason until, you know, game time on Wednesday. So, you know, being able to, uh, to have such, um, you know, a close group of guys that have been together for a while now, I think is huge. And, you know, I don't want to give too much away from the game plan, but, you know, a big thing for us is defense this year. Um, we're trying to, you know, just hold teams down to as few points as possible. I mean, that's, that's the name of the game, you know? So we've been focusing a lot on that end, um, you know, prioritizing that and making that like a cornerstone of who we are as a program. DJ, this has been a season, a year like, no other in any of our lifetimes. Uh, and you guys have gone through a lot like all of us. There's been quarantine, there's been isolation, you know, downtime, not only if we have a season, uh, the hunger to get back on the court. How would you quantify it in terms of just you and your teammates of just wanting to play again? Couldn't even quantify it. Uh... Yeah, no, I don't even know how to put into words how excited we are just to play, to have some competition. Uh, we've been biting at the nail just to just to get on the floor. Just first off, it was just to get on the floor with each other and then thinking about our season, just thinking about playing somebody else. It's been close to, I think, nine months, ten months since uh, anybody's played. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to put into words how excited we are to get on the floor. And, Joseph, um, you know, one thing with Santa Clara has been certainly that you guys have beaten the teams you're supposed to, but there's been that getting over that threshold and, and knocking off a Gonzaga or when St. Mary's or BYU were really hot, um, you know, getting them off the perch. What will be the difference to crossing that line and knocking off one of those teams to be, you know, in that top three in this league? Yeah, I think to keep it simple, we're desperate. I mean, we're, we're not taking excuses for anyone. Um, you know, we don't expect another team to have an off night. We're not going to use that as an excuse. We're not going to say, you know, they shot the ball well. None of that. Um, just eliminate all excuses and just focus on winning. You know, doing the little things. Um, just trying to eliminate all possibilities to lose. And, you know, we've been doing that in practice. Uh, everyone's bought in. Um, and we're just taking it day by day. But the main answer I can give you is just we're desperate. We're just determination to win. And that's it.